Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates and welcome once again to our next session of reading Aristotle's politics. Today we are going to be looking at chapter three of book one, the first book of the politics, chapter three. Um, so let's turn to it, okay? Um, we're losing the Lord translation available at Google Books, um, Lord's translation by University of Chicago Press. Uh, the information about the book is below uh, this. Let's turn to chapter three. Since it is evident, uh, since it is evident out of what parts the city is constituted, the city polis, right, uh, is constituted, it is necessary first to speak of household management. Household management, okinamokos. The, uh, the, uh, okinamokos this is the word economics, comes from it. The, uh, 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 therefore, this is the management or, or rule or governing nomos, nomatics, uh, of uh, a management of household, loikos, oikonomokos. Oiko is the household, and of course, the ruling of managing or you know, of this. For every city is composed of households. So notice this, every city is not composed of individual peoples. In other words, Hob Aristotle here is very interesting. Hobbes and Locke and everyone else reduces everything to the individual. Aristotle does not. Aristotle instead, the city is a composite, is a composite, not of individuals, but of households. And households are composites of different relations. And now we're going to talk about the relation, right? So therefore, um, now he says, okay, if it's a this polis or the city is a composite of households. So what is the household, right? And then we, we talked about this, the household had two relationships. He says there was two that, you know, the chapter two, uh, we begin with a perception of the a genetic account in chapter two of there's two ways. There's this, this through procreation and then the root, the, therefore this desire to, 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 to procreate and then this, and, and the need to, and and the, the rule of those who have knowledge or foresight over those who lack foresight, right? The natural ruling and rule, these two principles. Um, but, okay, yeah, but then what it goes on here, he's, in many ways, we will see this, book two, we'll, we'll notice this, look what happens. The whole account of book two is dropped about the naturalness. The whole naturalness argument we talked about, it will be dropped. We'll see it, okay. but right now the household is a household. The ho uh, is is an aggregate. Now he's going to talk. He's, uh, the, the city is composed of households, right? So, the part of the house, uh, the parts of household management correspond to the parts out of which the household itself is constituted. So, therefore, the, 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 in other words, household management is dealing with, the, and the household is uh, is dealing with the things that which the household itself is constituted. Now the complete household is made up of slaves. Okay, here slaves is delos, and uh, 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 the delos can be servants, slaves or servants, and free people. And the idea here, slaves here, is referring to those who are free. There's two types of people: people who are unfree and people who are free. The delos are those who are not free, and the pe people who are, are free persons, the freeborn, the freeborn. Um, since everything is to be sought for the first, uh, 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 in other words, since everything is to be sought for first in the smallest elements, the first and the smallest parts of the household are master, slave, husband, wife, father, children. So he says there's three relationships that are going to define the household. Master, slave, master, servant, uh, husband, wife, father, children. Now he says, not parent, father, father, children. Uh, and I would, I would even say parent, child here. This is, that's, you know, I, I think the father, Aristotle here, um, I think the translator is, um, being a little over, 
I think there's a thing, it is Patrai, it's like this, but this is, this really means ultimately the, the control and, and uh, uh, you know, this idea of the, 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 the one who gave, uh, who made and then that which is made, okay? Uh, so par it's parent child. Um, in other words, these are the three elements, husband, wife, three things must be investigated now, these three things must be investigated to determine what each is and what sort of thing it ought to be. Okay. So, therefore, we have to understand these three, the three small, is, is three, is, the, the three parts of three relationships. And that these are going to be the basis by which uh, uh, the household is to be. So, the household is not merely an aggregation of individuals. It's they're individuals, but they're individuals of a certain relationship. One is the master slave, which is the idea of one is going to be, uh, 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 do the work at the for the sake of another. Uh, then the, uh, 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 the master who rules over the servant or the slave uh, uh, who will labor, though they will labor for the, uh, uh, the master. Um, this uh, husband and wife and the uh, uh, the parent father child right the children these are ma uh, 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 these are master in other words these are mastery marital rule there is no term for the union of man and woman marriage you know marital rule right and and third procreative rule uh, uh this too has not been assigned a term of its own now um, uh, now, twenty here is reading technopotike. You know, this is this is literally the Greek word technopotike. This is this this is the word to you know to produce. Techne is an art, the art of procreate, that, that, of making a manuscript. Rather, than, uh, uh, he, he now he goes with this, whereas. Dreninger, the German author, Aldo Stein, and he's a German edition, different edit. See, the manuscript is the uh, the, the, the traditional manuscript. Usually Ross does this, but a German editor, Dresner, in his edition, I have it over here someplace. Um, all right, big, big, ugly face, uh, Dresner. This is this. He, and, he, and this is a very, uh, uh, one of the most interesting editions of uh, the, yeah, the, the Greek text. Uh, makes an argument that it should be read as Petriki, which is paternal rule. And I, I agree with that. I, I disagree with Lord, and I think it is paternal rule. This is paternal, paternal rule, not as this uh, this technique. I think this is a, a, a correction in that sense. So, which has not been assigned a term of its own. So therefore, we're gonna have these three relationships. So the first relationship is what master slave, and this is called mastery, despotic, eh? Husband, wife, marital rule. And the third is uh, now he uses the word uh, again. This the third that a parent child. Um, uh, 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 the Lord uses um, techno. He, he uses the, relies on the manuscript of techno potike. Poetike, um, uh, whereas uh, versus Dreniger's uh, uh, Practike, which is paternal rule. And this is a kind of rule, okay? This, uh, 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 this T R A K E is a kind of rule in that sense. So, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, procreative rule, the rule of the parental rule, parental rule, right? Parental rule in that sense. Um, we would say. Patriarchy, patriarchal, the rule of the fathers. Patern, and that's why it's interesting because it's 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 procreative. So therefore, this is that idea. This idea of the, 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 there's three forms of rule, uh, three forms of rule: despotic, uh, 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 marital, and that. So much then for the three we spoke of. There is a certain part of it, however, which some hold to be the same as household management, and others as and others its greatest part. 
how the uh, uh, how the matter really stands has to be settled. I'm speaking of of what is called the art of getting goods, and that means Crimea making making goods, getting goods, economics. This is what we understand economics: art of getting goods, getting things, commerce, trade, getting things, getting what you want, getting something. Uh, 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 and therefore, this is normally our perception of what the household is concerned with. But instead of talking about getting things, making things, others, now he says, everyone says that the real effect of the household is this getting goods, you know, getting goods. Let us first speak about master slave so that we may see at the same time whether uh, uh, what relates to necessity needs to what relates to necessary needs and whether we cannot acquire something in the way of knowledge about these things that is better than current conceptions. In other words, we're going to start with master slave. Instead of dealing with how do you get things, the art of getting things, he's, inst- he's going to start with, again, he's following his own logic. He said he mentioned master slave first, the, uh, 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 master slaves first. Uh, 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 parent or husband, wife, second, and then parent, child, right? So he's going to start with uh, this. He's going to start with the question of slaves. And he's saying, why are we doing this? Because this seems to be dealing with the relate to necessary needs. How do you get, how do you get necessary needs? The not, not, and this is again, I think we have to understand, remember, we understand the good life. This is a concern with how do we live our lives? How do, what, what is the way we live? We live our lives. Now, there's two ways. There's mere life, the, necess- the, the base necessities in order to live. You need to sustain yourself. You need to have sustenance. You need to eat. You need to survive. You have to be living. Well, this is the basics. This is the, the, the rudimentary. This is the precondition. Then you can live well. Udomania, you can live well. You can live well in happiness. You can be fulfilled in that higher sense. But in other words, even though this is the beginning point, we strive for living better, living well. So in that sense, we have to start with how do we get, we have to start with how do we, how do we, we need to acquire something in a way of knowledge about these things. In other words, we may, uh, that we may see at the same time what relates to necessary needs and whether we cannot acquire something, get it, get it, in the way of knowledge about these things that is better than our current conception. Now, current conception is slavery. In other words, it, it's, it's what, it, what he means by this here is that the current way of our getting things is mostly through a uh, 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 slave labor. Conventional slavery, in that sense, the conventional idea of conventional slavery. Now, uh, uh, and we, he wants to get a, and also the way we understand these things, these, these, how do we get things? How do we get our necessary needs? And it requires some better, something in a way of knowledge about these things. So, the, versus the way we just we accept. In other words, let's know about. Let's think about what slavery is. Not just merely accept it in that sense. Now he says, for some hold that mastery is a kind of science, it's a kind of episteme, it's a kind of knowing, knowledge, uh, and that managing the household, mastery, and the political and the kingly rule are the same. Again, he goes this this right here repeats what he said in the second paragraph of the first chapter. This argument that mastery that, that some claim that uh, a, a household you know a household a, a, a master a, 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 a slave a master a despotic cause a okinamokos a, a, a politicos and a basileos are the same as we said in the beginning. Others hold that exercising mastery is against nature. For as they believe, it is by law that one person is slave and another is free. Therefore, no dif- there, there being no difference in nature. And hence, it is not just, since it rests on force. 
So he's going to now is saying that there's other people who argue that, in other words, he says, one people argue that they're all three are the same. And then there's others who argue that there's no, nature does not guide us on this. That there's no just, there's no slave by nature. That there's, in other words, mastery is against nature. Um, uh, it, it is a law, it is, it is wholly conventional. It's by nomos, law, convention, nomos, law, convention. And it's by law that one is a slave, another is free. And therefore that there being no difference by nature, there's no, there's no, there's no natural master and natural slave. It is not just since it rests on mere force, coercion. Okay, this is why we said, this is how the other opinion. So he gives two opinions. There's one, opi there's two opinions he ends the, the third chapter on. The first opinion is this idea that all these three, and this reasserts the thing that he said at the beginning that he said was false. Now he has this other thing that's a question. Is it is this also false? Or is this this claim that there is not, there's truth? So therefore, that, this is a big question. He says he's going to be challenging these two opinions, right? The first, this one, he's going to be dismissing it. And then the others hold that exercising mastery is against nature. Mm. Uh, because uh, the, uh, uh, because that uh, who, who is a slave and who is free is a, a matter of law. And, and there's no difference by nature. And that only reason why someone is slave, and, and because... Uh, it's by force, and because it's on based wholly on force or coercion, it is uh, 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 unjust. Now, we're going to stop here. Um, this is the third chapter. We're finishing it. We're going to do the thing there, so I'm going to let you uh, we'll end here. If you have any comments or questions, please put it below. Um, if you have any, uh, uh, if you like it, like it, share it with a friend. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, ask me a question, I'll respond. When I see it, I will respond to it. Uh, you can follow me on social, uh, you know, share, uh, subscribe. If you have not done it, subscribe uh, uh, to the channel to get updates. So we're going to do the next one to get a, encourage a friend to subscribe. Um, uh, 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 again, you can follow me in social media below. Um, if you want to contribute, um, you can help contribute by um, simple, many ways. You can do subscribe star. Uh, or that, you know, I mean, you're not going to do it. I'm not going to five dollars a month. You know, you want to help, you, could, you know, do this. You know, it's that's you know, this is how that works. And maybe you don't want to, or you can go buy my book on Lulu or Amazon. Amazon also, but I get less money on Amazon. You buy Lulu, yes, you have to, yes, Amazon. It gives you free shipping sometimes. Um, it's like twenty. It's almost thirty bucks now, I think, because of the, the cost of the thing. Um, this is about under thirty. Um, it is a massive book. It's it's not it's not really a book. It's a study guide. It is it is a guide about the politics. This is about a notebook on Aristotle's politics. It's a workbook. It's that and um, it will guide you at, through your reading of the politics. It has charts, outline structures, and gives you place to take notes when you go take uh, when you add your notes when you take the. This is not to be read in substitute of the politics. It is a guide to help you read the politics. So again, I will uh, uh, say if you want to help, you can buy that. Um, uh, uh, I would recommend it. Uh, okay, that's it. And I hope you have a good day.